Hello, Commander. Lord Desade. How can I be of service to you? I have come to ask for your help. I'm at your service, Your Excellency. What is it you want from me? We need reinforcements to protect the sanctuary of the islanders, north of the island. Very well. I will send some troops there. But may I ask who or what they will be fighting? Creatures, in great numbers. And probably my cousin. I beg your pardon? As your men must have told you, he has changed a lot recently. Ever since he was cured of the Malachor and bonded to the island, he has become obsessed with power. He is now targeting the heart of the island. If he succeeds, we're all doomed. I have indeed heard reports of the Governor's peculiar behavior. Since he is our employer, I asked my men to turn a blind eye. But thanks to your help, we avoided dishonor. I won't forget it. If you're telling me that we are in danger and that we need to go to this sanctuary, we'll go. Thank you, Commander. Anything else? I have to go. I... Your Excellency, Lord Desade, and to what do I owe this honor? I have come to solicit your help and to propose we forge an alliance. An alliance? Against whom? You remember, no doubt, the attacks that fell upon Hikmet, but also San Mateus, and against the natives. Of course. You told me that different guardians sent the beasts. Precisely. And the Guardians were manipulated by someone. I discovered who it was. This revelation will not please you, but I have no choice but to tell you. It is Constantine. Surely you jest. What is the meaning of this? Do you know how many men have died during these attacks? Allow me to continue, I beg you. My cousin's sickness shook him to the core. Then, there was a ritual and his capture. And Constantine has fallen into madness. He has been increasing these rituals in order to link himself to the island, to gain power and manipulate its creatures. He is fighting a war against everyone, and it now appears he wants to take control of Tirfredi. He is preparing to attack the Volcano Sanctuary, and I need help to stop him. It is in the name of the congregation that I come to see you. Constantine betrayed us as well. That's madness. It is complete madness. All of this superstitious nonsense. These absurd theories. I believed you sincere, Desade. Which does not mean that I believe you now. But no matter. You are in need of men to stop your cousin who has already attacked us. Precisely. I have already gathered support, but I need as many allies as possible. I understand what you are saying. And a part of me wishes truly to lend you a hand, if only to exact vengeance for the losses we suffered. But I am not sure I can trust you with the lives of my few remaining men. How can I possibly convince you? Perhaps if you were to complete the tasks that I entrusted you with. Very well. I shall see what I can do. Do so, and we shall speak about this again. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have to go. Fair. Respectfully, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? Governor Burren asked me to investigate the abductions the rebels told us about. If we could find the origin and free their comrades, I'm sure they would stop their attack. I need to locate and speak with the other rebels. Do you know where they could be? No. They don't attack often. I fear they're gathering their forces. Captain, the patrol we sent to the west has not returned yet. I may have spoken too quickly, Your Excellency. Although it might still be possible that our men are just delayed. Perhaps you would allow me to search for them. Maybe they cross paths with the rebels. Corporal, do you know which way the patrol went? Of course, Captain. You will lead, His Excellency. In hope that our men are still alive. At your command, Captain. Your Excellency, find me at the entrance of the camp when you're ready to start. Are you ready to go, Your Excellency? Yes, let's go.
waste any time. Is that the patrol we're looking for? Yes. That's them. More victims of these savages. But two of the soldiers are missing. Maybe they managed to escape. They'll surely need help. We should look for them. This man needs to be cared for, but in his condition, we can't take him back to the outpost. Allow me. There. That should be better. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Without your help, I would probably have died here. <sighs> Tell us what happened. We came across a group of rebel savages. It was a massacre. A few seconds later, only Franz and I were left. We fled. I managed to drag myself here, but he was not so lucky. The savages caught up with him. Was he captured? Did you see where they took him? They headed north to Frazone again. But in the state I was in, I didn't see much else. Your Excellency, please. We should get him out of there. They're bound to torture and kill him. We'll take care of it, Corporal. The rebels must have left traces when dragging the prisoner. But not you. You must help your wounded man to reach the outpost. Come on. There's our group of rebels. The soldier they captured looks dead. Quayes. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. I'm here because I want to talk to your chief. I know who you are. The Renaixe on all Manawi. What do you want to say to Armal? I want to talk to him about the abductions and to understand what's going on. You would be the first Renaixe to care. How do we know you're not just saying that to find out where our camp is? I am not part of the Alliance. My only goal is to avoid deaths on both sides. Help me. I am your only chance to free your prisoners without bloodshed. You seem to really believe what you say. I hope I'm not mistaken. Very well. Tell me when you are ready to follow me to our camp. Are you ready to follow me? Let's go. It's this way. Let's stay on guard. Always. Even if I doubt this is going to be a trap. It's 
this way. I'm letting my comrades know we're here, so that they let us pass. Follow me. We are almost there. This way. Come on. This way. This is our main camp. This is why you will find our mal. I hope I am not wrong to lead you here, and that you are not a traitor. So. Here's the famous rebel camp. I hope their leader can tell us more about these abductions. Who are you and what are you doing here, Anaikse? My name is Desade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. I came to talk to you about the abductions and your forthcoming attack. And how did you find our camp? I convinced one of your men to bring me. Well, I'll tell you what we know, then you'll understand why we have to fight lions. Many seasons ago, Sinol Manawi started to disappear. Lions attacked the villages and took them with them. We never saw them again. They were either crazy or so injured that even our best Donegad couldn't do anything. So we counterattacked and captured some of their soldiers. And we learned that they were taking our people to a place they call a laboratory. It is there that they torture and kill them. They talked about experiments. Experiments? So that was the reason for all these abductions. But what do they hope to discover? They hope to find a cure for the Malachor. And I'm afraid they're willing to carry out any atrocity to find one. We found the laboratory, but it is heavily guarded. So we are preparing for war. Do you understand now? Yes. And if what you tell me is true, we must put an end to it. Alert! The lions are attacking! Traitor! It was you who led them to us! No, I swear. They asked me to investigate. It was never a question of attacking you. Then prove it! Fight with us! The Alliance betrayed me as much as you. I owe them nothing. Drink a potion! 
have fought bravely. And your word is true, on Almanawi. The Alliance is the ally of the Congregation. Taking your side was not a decision I made lightly. But Governor Burren used and betrayed us. And he will answer for it. Please, wait before you attack. I will do everything to dismantle this laboratory and release your people. I trust you. So we will wait. But don't take too long. Kwa awalem seg on Ormanawi. Goodbye. Lord Desade, what? Enough with the formalities, Excellency. You owe me an explanation. Did you order your troops to attack while I was negotiating under a white flag? I assure you that I have no idea what you are talking about. I would never have placed your life in harm's way. The alliance with the congregation is crucial, and you know it. Your suspicions are unfounded. I'm sorry. It is now clear that decisions are being made without my consent. I'm going. You mock me, Excellency. I can't believe this matter slipped your vigilance. Everything the Denea Exregal have told me has proven true. Your men attacked and carried off natives. I witnessed it. According to what I've been told, they are taken to a place where experiments are carried out, where they are tortured. I... It is true that I knew of the existence of this laboratory. The place is dedicated to research on the Malachor. If a remedy is ever to be discovered, it will happen there. But I assure you that I was not aware that natives were being taken there. Allow me to doubt your sincerity, Excellency. I intend to pay the place a visit and see for myself what happens there. Who directs the research? Our most brilliant savant, the Doctor Asili. Certainly his legend precedes him. He is the master of your friend, the Professor Afra. Doctor Asili is no longer my master, and I regret that he ever was. We should be off to Sade. If this laboratory were what I think it is, the best course of action would be to burn it to the ground. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have returned in the hope that you might have changed your mind. I'm still waiting for you. Would you like... I have... Fair... Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? Do you remember I thought that someone must have been responsible for the attacks you sustained? Yes, you thought that this guardian who sent us the animals couldn't have been acting alone. And I was right, sadly. You're hesitating. Are you afraid of my reaction? Indeed. As the person responsible is none other than my cousin, Constantine. Uh, does this mean that the congregation has decided to wage war on us? And thanks to which obscure alliance has your cousin been able to manipulate these creatures? Constantine acted alone, and he betrayed us as much as he betrayed you, believe me. As for the way he manipulated these creatures, do you remember that my cousin was sick? Absolutely. And it is said that his recovery was the result of a rather suspicious miracle. Are you telling me that your cousin has made a pact with the demons of this island? Something like that. He was cured by a Donegad of the island who performed a bonding ritual. But the power he received from this made him thirsty for more, and he bonded himself to other places, thus gaining control over the guardians who were protecting these sacred places. But why attack us? Did his madness make him forget about our alliance? His thirst for power is making him want to control the island entirely by himself. And I know that for this purpose, he will soon attack the natives' main sanctuary on the volcano. I won't stand a chance against all the creatures he's taken control of. And I need some help. Others have already joined me. But we also need the support of Teleme. Having a common enemy should help us forget all the differences that have been opposing us. You expect us to participate in a combined attack to protect an insular sanctuary. I hope you realize that for me to accept, I would have to be insane. Or have full trust in you. Are you implying that you may change your mind? If you accept to deal with the problem I entrusted you with, then you would at least have a chance. And what if I simply reminded you that you owe me a debt? You surprised me, Desade. I wouldn't have thought you were so guileful. 
But you were taught well. Ah, since you leave me no choice, fine. My men will fight by your side. But I hope that my debt will then be repaid once and for all. Of course, Your Eminence. Thank you. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. Hello, Glendan. Byrt Tirtumad on all Menawi. What can I do for you? To tell you that men are going to come all the way to the sanctuary. Some Renaigse. I thank you for coming to warn me in person. But our High King has already spoken to me. I am disgusted to welcome warriors of the faraway island. But the decision is not mine. And in truth, we do not have the choice, do we? No. It is all of Tirfredi and Enon Mil Frichtemen that's in danger. We have need of every able warrior to protect them. You need to prepare yourself as well. I fear that you will not be spared. We will fight, have no doubts. Because such is our duty and our will. These are our lands that are attacked. I have no doubt. Good luck, Glendan. May the rocks give you their toughness. You shall need it more than everyone else. Can I do anything else for you? I must leave. Qua. The cave that Constantine indicated in his note shouldn't be very far. Constantine has marked several places on this map. I recognize some of them. They are sacred places for the natives. Places of connection. This place. This journal. My poor Constantine, you have completely lost your mind. What are you hoping to achieve with these rituals? According to the Donegada, each bond gives some form of power to the one who makes it. Your cousin never has enough, apparently. So much so that he's threatening Enon Mil Frichtemann himself. He wants to take his place. <sighs> to think he's been plotting this absurd plan for weeks. He even used us to achieve it. The intruder in the sanctuary was certainly sent by him to scout the place. We'll need to gather allies if we're going to stop him. But we will also have to weaken him and break apart the bonds that he's established. I don't know exactly how these things work. And unless you do, we're gonna need help. How about Dunkus? Mev scares me a little. You're right. Let's go and find him. What brings you here on Omanawi? As I've told you before, my cousin bonded himself in many places before he decided to target the heart of the island. 
You did tell me, and you must know that by doing so, he has acquired a power that no Donegada has ever possessed. That is why I need your help. We need to break some of his bonds in order to weaken him. Rest assured, all the Donegada will answer to the call of their Hoy King. And with their help, we will heal the wound your cousin has opened. However, to accomplish this, it is I who will need your help. What can I do? During the ritual, the one who is bonding himself spills some of his blood near the base of a stone. And this blood summons a guardian. The guardian lifts the stone so that it may serve as an anchor point for the bond. The only way to break this bond is to have a guardian topple the stone. We will be able to do it, but these rituals take a long time. Too long to be done quickly. So, in the meantime, you must prevent your cousin from drawing magic from the place. Here, take these seeds and plant them at the bottom of your cousin's bonding stones. These plants grow very fast, and their roots will prevent him from drawing the strength of Tiefradi. However, you must be careful, because the guardians corrupted by him will come to defend the stones. Thank you, Dunkers. And thank you for wanting to stop your cousin. Don't worry. I will send my people to finish the work of the plants I have given you.
Marcus gave us at the base of the raised stone. Look! The plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donnegarda of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond. The plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donnegarda of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond. Halt! No one enters! You speak to the legate of the merchant congregation, soldier. I have been sent by Governor Burren. I have to talk to Dr. Asili. I don't take orders from the governor, nor the congregation. Be on your way. He won't obey me either, Greenblood. He's not from my regiment. Sorry, soldier, but I'm coming in, whether you like it or not. To arms! <laughs> to my help! And death to the others! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It's a real fortress. There must be other guards. Be careful. How awful. They've been reduced to burning the bodies. How could members of the guard choose to participate in this massacre?
I don't have the key. You're not one of those nasty birds, are you? No. I've come to put an end to all these horrors. To save you. But I thought they only captured the Onol Manawi. I don't know why they brought us here. But they hurt us. I saw them cut a friend of mine into pieces. Get us out of here. Trokar it. I'll find a way. I can't believe that a silly could have fallen so low. I'm so ashamed. I feel nauseous. Let's hold this good doctor to account. To my help! Ah! These poor people lost their lives only a few hours ago. They could not survive this mutilation. Who are you? You have no right to be here. I have come to free your prisoners and put an end to all the horrors that take place here. <sighs> I knew this would happen eventually. This all went too far. Dr. Asili here. He lost his mind a long time ago. But what are you going to do with us? Arrest you. Then I expect you will be sentenced. <sighs> no, please! We only followed the doctor's orders. We tried to stop him, but he is the director of the lab. You could have reported it to the governor or left this place. He threatened to destroy our lives. We could not... Please, don't lock us up. What will you do once you're free? We will try to redeem ourselves and resume our work at the Governor's Laboratory. That's where we worked before joining Dr. Asili's team. If your conscience allows you to resume your activities as if nothing has happened, you may go. I'm eternally grateful, Your Excellency. Yeah! 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 This note carefully describes the sequence of the experiments. There are even sketches. It's hard not to feel sick. This is proof of all the horrors committed here. Asili has locked himself in his office. Afra, What a surprise to see you here. You finally came to your senses. Master, it's not... Who is this person? I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and I'm here to put an end to your crimes. My crimes? What are you talking about? My work was for the good of humanity. Don't tell me you're crying over some savages. 
The survival of our species requires sacrifice. What did you hope to find from all these experiments? Since the Malachor never reached this island, I wanted to check if these savages were sensitive to it. And I discovered that they were naturally resistant. Do you realize the implications of this discovery? So I tried to isolate this resistance to develop a cure in order to send it to the people on the continent. But I doubt that you will be able to understand the subtlety of such an approach. Come on, Afra, my dear student. Will you let these narrow-minded inquisitors decide my fate? Are you not also devoted to science and truth? Science and truth do not excuse your lack of humanity. I'm ashamed of having been taught by you, and that I didn't warn Burren that you'd gone mad. If I had, we could have prevented all of this. You disappoint me so much, Afra. A second time. When I think what I wasted trying to teach you science. We learned everything we wanted to know. This lab will close and you will answer for everything you have done. You think so? Gods, capture these people! To my help! And death to the others! Let's see what you can do! Watch out! Grenade! <laughs> Stop! Think of my knowledge. All that I have accomplished. That can never disappear. You will answer for your crimes in court. But I'll be out soon. My colleagues will understand the importance of my work. We shall see about that. Just a little more patience. I still have to release the other prisoners. It's blocked. be forever soft under your feet. I thought I was losing my mind in this cage. I must release the other prisoners. You will be out soon. Now that they are free, we must help the prisoners escape this place. If they leave through the city, Hikmet guards will arrest them. So we have to find another way to get them out. The mechanism doesn't work. I need to take a closer look.
Let's go. I found a way out of the city. But be careful. You are weakened, and creatures roam these tunnels. I will lead the way. There you are. You're free. You have saved our lives. How can we thank you? We will never forget what you have done for us on Al Manawi. Yes, we will always be grateful. We're not very far from the Hikmet outpost. You will have to be careful. I know how to reach the port without being seen. Perfect. As for you, you should take refuge in Vig Shadir. You will be safe there, but you should avoid the Alliance patrols. We'll get there. For Owl and Segven. Your Excellency, Lord Desade, and to what do I owe them? I've been to Asili's laboratory, and what I discovered was abominable. Hundreds of poor souls tortured, victims of horrifying experiments. There were so many dead that a pit had been dug to burn the bodies. How horrifying. I cannot believe it. The natives were not the only victims of these crimes. There are also a number of noughts. Noughts? Pardon me for doubting you, but do you have proof of what you say? And have you brought Dr. Asili to me so he may answer these accusations? Yes, we captured him. Really? Very well. I will ensure that he is judged as quickly as possible. What was done with the prisoners that were being held in the laboratory? They were freed. The Denea Exregau are satisfied and should call off their attack. What a relief. Finally, some good news. How can I repay you? By allowing me to take part in the trial proceedings. What I saw merits justice, and I fear that the accused will find a great many defenders amongst his fellow savants. It is a rather novel request, but granted. I shall inform the prosecutor. Let us remember that the madness of a man should not cast a shadow upon the greater sum of his work. His research is perhaps our only chance of discovering a remedy. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have to go. Farewell. You're on to...
I have returned in the hope that you might have changed your mind. I'm still waiting for you to earn my trust. I see. I shall do my... Would you like... I have to... Hello. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? De Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. Governor Burren told me to pay you a visit. Oh. It is you who arrested Dr. Asili and must help me prepare the trial. Exactly. Excellent. We will have lots to do if we want the doctor to pay for his crimes. The accused has a lot of support. Any evidence and testimonies you can gather will be useful. We'll have no problem gathering witnesses. His laboratory cells were full of them. We will call them to the witness box, of course. But be aware that if the victims are natives, their words will unfortunately not carry much weight here. There were also some noughts. Perhaps I could convince some of the doctor's colleagues to talk. Their testimony will be crucial. The word of other scholars is likely to be the only thing that condemns him. That plus any material evidence you can gather. These documents describe Dr. Asili's work, as well as the horrible experiments he was performing. Perfect. I will read them in detail. We will no doubt find something to support my prosecution. Do we have any chance of winning? What you have brought me is a good start, Your Excellency, but it would be better to continue gathering evidence. I will return to you soon. The Nort should be at the port, and the islanders had to take refuge in Vikshadir. As for the scientists, they said they would go back to the governor's laboratory. And I should also go back to Asili's laboratory. There may be more evidence there. Sade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? I would like you to tell me about a silly. I was expecting you to come and see me about this. What would you like to know? Do you think, as your master does, that science justifies all sacrifices? No. I may have believed that at one time, without, of course, ever imagining that we'd resort to such cruel treatment. But Duncus, you and Siora have opened my eyes to the limits of science. To worship it as we do in the Alliance does not make us better than Teleme. Were you aware of Dr. Asili's experiments? In part, yes. That's why I chose not to be his student any longer. Why not say anything? Because I never thought he would go so far. Over time, he became more and more cruel. I found his approach brutal. As if by meeting the natives, it deprived him of all humanity. He spoke of them as test subjects, never as people. But there was a time when he was the greatest doctor and scientist in the Alliance. And I clung on to that memory. You do know that you were captured thanks to him? Yes, but I thought the natives wanted to trade us merely as prisoners of war. I was blind and stupid. I regret it terribly. In your opinion, were the horrors practiced in this laboratory necessary for his research? No, even if he was convinced of it. General interest outweighs the suffering of a few individuals. He wanted results quickly, to the point of neglecting slower, more humane methods. I hope we'll succeed in ensuring these experiments never happen again. Would you be willing to testify against Dr. Asili during his trial? Of course. I was going to talk to you about that. I want to convince my colleagues that we must give up these kind of methods. And even if it costs me dearly, I want my master to pay for what he did. Anything else? I must leave you.
I can't believe it. Constantine's Malachor was caused by a silly. The potion we were made to drink when we landed on the island was contaminated. How dare he do such a thing? And why? I'm sorry, Greenblood. I never thought someone would try to kill him that way. Everything all right? Once again, thanks to you. These people wanted to kill me. They certainly wanted to prevent you from testifying at the doctor's trial. The doctor will be judged. I suppose you'd like me to testify about how we suffered. Indeed. If you do not fear another attempt on your life by these men. Don't worry. I won't put up with intimidation. From now on, my people will watch over me until I can testify. And I intend to witness the execution of our torturer. You can count on me. Thank you. Your word will be crucial during the trial. 